Hello, Azubi back here again, and this time we're going to do Fafnir EX. Now that I got Skull, it makes it a lot easier. So, um, Blaze Wolf Skull is first up, and next is going to be Dragon Girl Rita, who is actually really good now that she was awakened and buffed. Um. Third is Aldra. And fourth is Verosa. And last but not least, yet again, is Vampire Lord Evil Eye. All right, here we go. So, Mad Fafnir. Alright, let's start off with the action skill. It does hits the front enemy row with earth attack damage three times and defense 20% down for three turns. Alright, so his auto skill on, the, on his first HP bar hits all enemy, all player parties with earth attack damage and stone chain for three turns which affects Aesir, humans, and elves, and it also inflicts Earth Wound for three turns. On his first HP bar, he has to himself and the uh, other two with him um, an attack barrier. So that means more multi hit weapons. On the second HP bar, he hits the exact same way. Um, all, all of your party gets hit with earth attack damage, um, stone chain for three turns that hits Aesir, humans and elves, and earth wound, and, but the second HP bar has a magic attack barrier. And on the third HP bar, it's pretty much the same, um, Earth attack damage, stone chain for three turns, and earth wound for three turns, and the stone chain affects Aesir, Human, and Elves. And um, this one has Leaf Abyss, Abyss. Abyss. Abyss Boost Leaf, duh. And that's the same as all the other ones. If you hit him with any other... Over time, it'll naturally go up. But if you hit him with any element other than um, Neutral and Fire, then it's going to cause that the counter to go up. It's the one on the far right, right under his HP bar. And the higher that is, the stronger he is. So, at least more tankier. Alright, now let's go to the armor. Um, on the armor, on the first first and second HP bar, hits your, your front the front person in your party with earth attack damage and slow for three turns. On the third HP bar, um, hits the front enemy the same, earth attack damage and slow for three turns, but also gives Fafnir um, um, an absorption barrier, a magic attack, attack absorption barrier, so it's going to heal them. So get rid of the armor. And next the Leaf Hawk. Which on the first and second bar hits the back enemy row with earth attack damage and the front three enemies with earth attack damage, as well as giving all three of its allies quick for three turns. Um on the third HP bar is the same except for it gives Fafnir a attack magic attack reflection barrier. So, my advice to this is to get rid of the hawk and the armor as quick as you can to stop them from being able to buff Fafnir. Because, you know, and also use a lot of weapons that um, ig ignore barriers if you can. And it doesn't hurt to use a lot of items like the glow sticks and things like that that make your skill gauge go up quicker because that's you know really a good way to nuke the armor and the hawk pretty quickly and I think that's really about it uh, multi-hit weapons are your friend to try to drop these barriers and yeah so now I'm just gonna chit chat um,
I have been playing lots of PlayStation lately. I have gotten addicted to Platinum Trophies again. So I lost my old account that I was using years ago, and now I got a new new one that I've been using for like the past two years, and yeah. I got one more trophy on Resident Evil Village, and it's the one for Mercenaries mode, and it's really getting on my nerves that I can't do it. But it, it just requires a lot of practice. You gotta do it over and over again until you get the perfect run. But, okay. Let's see who did the most damage. Usually Evil Eye. Yep, and have a good day.